What's your team really has to look comfortable tonight? Is it the rust, the MVP distraction, or something else? Well, look, there's no excuses. Right now we're at home, four-point lead. Uh, typically when we play the Bulls, this is what it ends up like. So we just have to find a way. LeBron James had his lowest scoring first half. Does he need to be more active in the fourth quarter? He will be. Don't worry about that. But as long as we're trusting, moving the bodies uh, and, and the ball, uh, we'll get open looks. He'll start to drop. All right, thanks a lot. Thank you, Mark. All right, great. Miami now in possession. Butler's done a very good job on LeBron James. Here's James with a fadeaway. Picked up on a switch by Noah. So LeBron has hit double figures. He now has 11. Nine of the 11 in the second half. Robinson to Butler. Surprised to get the ball. Able to hit and draws the foul. What a smart, instinctive play by Butler. Just understanding that the contact was coming and just throwing the ball up there and hoping for the best. We've been talking about Jimmy Butler as Batty is called for the foul, playing every minute. Now, in the last three games, he has gone the distance thus far here tonight. But he had played all 48 the last two. The first player to do this in a playoff since 2006, Tayshaun Prince. Played 48 consecutive games against the Cavaliers. And remember, the guy he's replacing, Lou Aldang, led the NBA in minutes played this year. So if you could have Dang, and maybe he'll be back later in this series, and combine him with Butler, you got some weapons to throw at LeBron on the perimeter. Foul on Gibson. Batty is making his move. Lou Al has missed, including tonight, the last three games. Due to the flu and the complications from that spinal tap to test for viral meningitis, he had, uh, suffered severe side effects from the procedure. Mm. Remember, Luau, Steve, made it back from last season's torn ligaments in, in his left wrist. Yeah, that's scary stuff. We sure hope he's going to be okay and back soon. James are going to pass it home. So LeBron showing signs in the second half. Miami extends to a, a five-point lead. And the ball is also without Kirk Kinder, who now has missed the last four games, including tonight. Gibson right back, and a foul is called. It might have been away from the ball. The basket does count. Looked like it was Shane Battier pushing Joaquin Noah as they battle for a potential rebound. So it's three on Battier and one shot coming up at the line. Well, you talked about all the minutes Butler has played. He's still able to stay in front of LeBron there. That's just a, a tough shot. And all the great defenders will tell you, when you go against somebody like LeBron, you just try to make it hard, and you have to shrug it off when he, when he starts getting hot. Just continue to get a hand up, keep your position, but you can't get frustrated because ultimately he's going to make shots. Three-point play, the unconventional way, and it cuts the lead to two. Getting back to Heinrich, he's out with a bruised left calf. Ashley done such a terrific job defending against Darren Williams of the Nets in games two and three of that last series. Good play by Bellinelli, but it's a cover by James. And he will head it to the line. Boy, what a break for the Heat. This pass deflected by Bellinelli and just ends up being a perfect pass to LeBron. And then Noah picks up his fourth foul. I mean, that very easily could have been a fast break the other way for a tie game. As I said, late third quarter, much time remaining. Yeah. And uh, LeBron hearing the chance of MVP looking to make a three of three at the line. He now has 15 points, 7 rebounds, 6 assists. He has scored 8 of Miami's last 11. Two minutes in, fourth quarter. Marv Albert, Steve Kerr, Craig Sager from Miami. Bellinelli for 3. Gibson chasing, trying to save it. And last touch by the Heat. I think oh, they got a foul. I think they got Norris Cole for a foul. The crowd doesn't like it, but I thought it was a good call. Watch Gibson racing and right here the shove from Cole. So a good call by Kenny Mauer. For Miami, their third team foul, non-shooting affair. Robinson, we're told, 
requires six pitches off that collision with LeBron James back in the first half. His bumper in the crowd and turned back. Here's met by Bumper. Backs his way, got to step. James went down. Gibson, yes! Taj Gibson with the stuff, and Eric Spolster calls for Taj. LeBron wanted the fifth foul on Joaquin Noah. Noah, as always, comes over to help from the weak side. Let's see if there's contact. LeBron gets past Butler. Tough to tell. He may have got him on that left arm. But regardless, no call, and it leads to this. Bulls within two.